and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This was the hardware setup of the motor last time, remember? Power supply, transistor which is switching a relay and the relay is switching the motor. So if I'm switching here the transistor by touching the plus 5 volt, the motor is turning. So here we just need ground or we need a uh, 5 volts. And this we're going to use at our Arduino. Okay? So we are selecting a proper pin of our Arduino to turn uh, to turn on and off the motor. Yeah? So this is going to a to a pin. We will use six. Yeah? And is this already sufficient? No, it is not. Yeah? Even if we only need here plus and uh, plus 5 volt or 0 volt, we have to bring in a second line from our Arduino from ground to ground. Yeah? Because if we do not do this line here, we end up, we have here a different voltage than here base voltage, the ground voltage is different, might be different, will be different. Yeah? It is simply, as we know, a voltage is only a potential difference and if even if this to ground on the Arduino has 5 volts, it does not really mean, mean that here from this to this ground has 5 volts. Now that I have connected the grounds, all grounds are leveled. Yeah? So plug the Arduino in. Bim, bidi, bim. Okay, so this should this should be all right. So I should now be able to use the Arduino to turn the motor on and off. Let's see if this is really the case. So what do we do? Yeah. New program. Save as, save under new name. I will use, and where are we? 22 already, right? Really, we are switching with the really. So I will define a motor pin. This was six. The motor pin shall be an output. And we will turn it on. Right, mute every time. Motor pin high. Delay. How long do we delay? I will simply also define here something. Five seconds. This was the wrong line. This. Huh? Now, I think I'm turning on the, computer, the motor for five seconds. Turn it off. Wait five seconds. Remember we had this. Yeah? There was a blink sketch looking pretty much the same. So upload this. Let's see what is happening. What is going on? This is typical if, if ground is not all right. Let's see. 
we will use now an LED to indicate whether it's working or not, whether it's controlled or not. Yeah. So we will, here we should have Looks strange with ground without ground, nothing is working. Ah, huh? typical issue. Huh? What was this? I just used instead of here the ground, I've used it here. Yeah, you know, as you see, it's also not working pretty well. Yeah, this is there are quite some some currents involved. Yeah, so there are there are uh, inductivities yeah, which are containing power yeah, or which will save power and so on. You cannot simply turn off and on a, a motor. Yeah. This is not working proper. This is not really working proper. And this means it will influence the base value, the ground value. Yeah? And because it is influencing the ground, yeah, we might lose the switching power to turn on the, the, uh, the transistor here. Yeah? You see, it's 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 not that it's not that easy that everything is working proper. Yeah? This is the layout, the, the 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 connection layout might also have some influence. Okay, now I have to use a little bit better again. Yeah, you see. You are fighting, but basically it's working. Yeah, so it will be turned on for some time. Yeah, right now it's no longer working again. Yeah, it will be turned on for some time and will be turned off then five seconds, five seconds. Yeah? We could also use. A diet. Yeah. This is a diet. We can. This is th th this side of the diet is where it will block. So I will use now a diet between the plus where we turn it on like that. Now I guess it should work more reliable. Yeah, free running diet. This is. Let's see if now even working if I plug in here. Huh? Mm -hmm. Effects. Effects we see here. Uh, this diode is now connected between plus and minus of the motor, yeah, but in a way that it is blocking from plus to minus, but from minus to plus the current can re can can run. So we are not influencing now the ground too much. Yeah. You see, now it's working pretty well. I can even remove this one because this should also be done here at the power supply. Fast. Okay. So turning off and on a, compu uh, 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 a computer, uh, a DC motor. You see, it's working. Yeah. With a two-step approach, the 
Arduino is switching the, the transistor, transistor is switching the relay, the relay is switching the motor. All right. Uh, we have seen that such you could make the following exercise add a button all right add a button make this button a turn on and off button so that you can press the button once yeah press the button once it will turn on the the motor if the motor is running press the button a second time turn off the motor well, it sounds pretty similar, huh? memory light. Maybe, maybe you could use this program. Think about that. Think about if you could use the program. Okay. This would be a nice task, again, to make an on-off button. All right. Uh, now we turn the DC motor on and off. I have already told you that the DC motor uh, is running with different speeds at different voltage levels. Huh? This motor is rated with 6 volts, so 6 volts it will reach its nominal speed. However, it is possible to, to vary the voltage level on a DC motor yeah? and then uh, vary the speed. All right. We have already varied the, the the brightness of LED. Next time we are going to try to change the speed with pulse width modulation. If this is working or not. However, we cannot use a relay, a mechanical contact. So we only use the transistor. We are directly switching with the transistor our motor. Yeah? We are not switching the relay in between because, you know, if we run with 500 Hz, we cannot switch the relay 500 times in one second. This is not, not possible and it will simply destroy the relay. Yeah? So we are using this electronic switch and see how this is working. Yeah? Speed change. So we'll be in next video. For this time, Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.